Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about all things manga. I've had quite a few questions and someone asking me, how do I get into manga? How do I find my genre that I like? So in today's video, I'm going to do my best to explain how to get into manga and how to find, you know, your genre. <laughs> Um, a few years back, um, when I first got introduced to manga, it was after I actually started watching anime. And the first anime that I ever watched was called Naruto. After watching Naruto and Full Metal Alchemist, I decided I'm actually going to try and get myself into manga. And the first ever manga that I ever read was called Millennium Snow. Um, it was a romance manga and um, now I'm definitely not into any romance. It's not really my favourite genre. But I do occasionally read some, you know, because sometimes something comes along that intrigues me enough and I'll, I'll definitely read it. I would read the manga of the anime that I'll be watching. So I guess to answer the question <laughs> to how do I get into manga, if you read the manga of your favourite anime that you're watching. Or sometimes, like recently, I just started watching the anime Tokyo Revengers and I, I just could not wait the following week for another episode. So... I started reading the manga and I've binge read the whole thing and I've almost caught up and it's so amazing. So that's how I tend to get myself into manga. So what is my favourite genre of manga? So for me, over the years I've finally discovered that I love shonen. I love mangas are full of drama, I love mangas full of character development, great story, great characters. That to me is like the basic foundation of a great story in a great manga. So, uh, my top five mangas are, <laughs> ooh, okay, um, from the top of my head, I have got Vinland Saga, Berserk, um, uh, <laughs> um, Attack on Titan, um, 20th Century Boys, and, uh, oh my god, I can't think of the name. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll just throw Naruto in there as well, but yeah, it is t one of my favourite man- Oh, my top five are Monster, then there's Berserk, then there's Vinland Saga, then there is 20th Century Boys, and there's Attack on Titan. So, those are my top five favourite mangas because I love the story. The story is very unique and the characters are you know, well thought out, well drawn out, well, they're just phenomenal, like, um, I don't tend to mind, like, if there's fan service or anything like that, I don't mind that, as long as it's done tastefully, and it does not distract me from the story. Those are, like, my favourite, you know, um, mangas, but as time has gone by, I've discovered that I really love a really well written out manga, like, if you give me something I can sit in like get absorbed into the world whatever the, the mangaka is trying to get me into like if the setting is just well drawn out sometimes I'm not really t I don't tend to be really into um the the specific type of art style I tend to just think every person is different so the story is what makes it better the story is what makes it for me I highly recommend 20th century boys because honestly I think I binge read the whole thing they're like my absolute favorite manga because I feel number one, yes, the art style is beautiful and you know, um, well drawn out, but I think for me, it's the story and the mystery. That's another thing. I love mystery, I love to solve puzzles, I love great characters, I love great character development, and um, yeah, so that's the type of stuff that I tend to lean towards, and um, I tend to think that's what. You know that's my favorite style of manga i love to i love to go on an adventure how i define something to be a good manga is if you if the mangaka takes me on a journey if it takes me on a journey and i can literally get absorbed into the world and i well sometimes i can't obviously relate to the characters but sometimes it helps if i can relate with the characters it's like for me that's really important because the character doesn't always have to be the most powerful one because that's not always the case but as long as the characters are um you know they've got depth in them you can sympathize with them or you can understand them and their backstory like mangas like berserk 
it's they're very highly popular and I think it's because not just because of you know how dark the story is the story is very very dark but I think is presented in a in in a way that you know you actually sympathize with with guts and all the characters there you don't necessarily have to jump into like the ones that i've just recommended because they're my favorite manga it's because i've taken the time to discover what it is that i like and what is it that i don't like and those ones are my absolute favorite that i will always go back to and reread because i find that the storytelling is absolutely amazing my taste you can be asking so just because you've recommended this do i have to start with those no, you do not have to start reading Berserk because it's a very, very dark story for mature people. <laughs> Some of the stuff that goes on in Berserk is kind of like very, uh, very, very dark. They are definitely not every to everybody's taste. Um, Vinland Saga, again, I actually started reading the manga because <laughs> I was watching the anime and the season finished and I was like, do I have to wait until the next season? So I thought, no, nope. dive into um, the manga and I'm so glad that I did. People recommend all types of manga but try it out. Try out and see what it is. You might like it, you might not like it but that's the beauty about the manga community and the anime community. There is no right or wrong. Everybody's got different tastes and there is something for everybody. So if you're into cooking you can always find cooking manga. If you're into um, sports there's plenty of sports manga and honestly i would say try and find the things that cater to your particular style or your particular likes and hobbies or maybe try and like lean towards what it is that you like to watch and then try and start reading so for me personally i do sometimes enjoy romance manga i mean romance anime like fruit baskets i really enjoyed that but i would not read the manga because <laughs> I hate the high school romance thing. It's just so annoying. Not everybody's in high school. Like some of us are like full adults, okay? So it kind of gets frustrating if all the stories are high school romance. Yeah, adult romance, it's all about workplace and, um, you know, it, <laughs> the girl ends up marrying some rich CEO and, you know, they've got like a bunch of troubles and it, 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 it just... It's, ugh, it's just so cliche and it's a bit too obvious so i definitely don't like that so i tend to move away from that uh, too cliche everything's just been done before i've read it i've seen it or if it's not that it's just too too, too much on the hentai side and it's just a little bit like isn't there like a lovely romance story where there isn't that like i just think romance is definitely my favorite so yeah <laughs> if, if i'm recommending you a good romance um manga it's because i genuinely enjoyed it and the story was really good as well so it wasn't just your basic average you know uniform of romance those are my tips on getting into manga try leaning towards your favorite anime read that um if you want to try something new, if it's yeah, into sports or if you're into a specific hobby, try that. And, and sometimes try something new. You will never know. You might find something that's, you know, a different genre that you've never tried before. And actually it turns out to be amazing. So don't be afraid to try something new. You can find it is absolutely anything and everything for everybody. So yeah, I hope that helps. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and like and comment and i will see you guys on the next video bye